Welcome again everyone. Uh, today we're going to solve a new problem. If you want to monitor many services and uh, you want you don't want to put it everything in the same file, which is going to be huge. So let's solve this problem together. So here user I'm going to Nagus here etc and I have here the services and I have here the hosts. So which is last time we did it with a uh, Windows Server 2012 and we check it so i don't how we're going to put all the services in one file so i how to going to solve this problem i'm going to make a dire here which is services rename it whatever you want this is services and i'm going also to create one for the hosts so i have it here like this post here uh, this is a host so uh, you have to change before you proceed with anything you have to change the own here which is nagius nagius to the host and service so here it change so uh, I have here the services and I have here the hosts so I'm going to move here the services here to the services and also I'm going to move hosts to hosts so uh, I'm going to the hosts here I have here this host so it doesn't meet anything but it's a host so I'm going to move it as a like it's because it's Windows so I'm going to move it as a Windows here the CFG Ah oh, sorry Windows the CFG so I have this Windows now I now I'm going to the services and I'm going to move this one services which is to Windows dot CFG so it doesn't matter rename it whatever you want so I have here the sorry again uh, so I have here the services and I have here the uh, the hosts so I'm going to Nagus here oh, sorry before this proceed with this one here so I'm going to c press Control W and I'm going to search for the hosts as we did before in the uh, Nagus installation so we define both here the hosts and the services so it's here so I'm going to comment this out here like this so it's line 34 so I'm going to define the directory for the services and the hosts so I'm gonna copy this one here just paste it here paste it two times well, I'm gonna call it this is for the hosts and services so it's like and I'm going to rename this one as a services and this one for the host save it service Nagios restart check your Nagios everything is just work fine and everything just work fine so now I'm, I want to define because it's like now today I want to monitor my next cloud so how to make it like really simple I'm going to the services here I'm going to uh, make make it whatever you want you want to touch it touch with a new file but I'm um, simple like this next cloud dot cfg I'm also I'm going to put uh, but in the beginning uh, we need first to define the hosts to define next cloud before cfg and I'm going to define the host so I'm, I'm going to put everything in the description just so it's here the same what we did with a uh, with a Windows Server. 
but the IP address is different here and I'm going to save it so I have here next cloud and I have here Windows so sorry and I'm going to the services and I'm going to define a services for the next cloud and yes going also to put everything in the description so nano next cloud dot cfg and i'm going to paste everything here so as a we checking cpu total process current users http and also it's everything here so save it service <coughs> <coughs> Service Nagius re restart. Check your Nagius. Everything just working fine. And you have everything here. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, it's gonna take like one minute until everything is just it will work. So, uh. We don't need to put everything in the same file anymore. Now we create a new directory and we can put all the services what we have and all the hosts. Rename it whatever you want. And here like this is like refresh it here just to make sure that everything is just working fine. and we get here the cpu so everything is just working fine i hope this video is going to help you and uh, next video i'm going to show you how to do it with the ssl and thank you for watching